Hello and welcome to part 2 of lesson 6. So, in lesson 6, in your time to code, I asked you to extend on this program, so as well as asking for your name, it also asks for where you live, it saves that as a variable called place, that information, and then it says to the user, you live in, and the name of that place. So, I'm just going to run this basic code and check that it works. So, what is your name? Uh, Billy, name of my greyhound, and hello Billy. So that bit works. So I know I've got working code there. So what I'm actually going to do for my second question is I'm going to copy and paste here, and I've just, so this, uh, if I actually run it as it is, it will ask me my name twice, because it's exactly the same code. And hello, what is your name? And I have to tell it again, because all it did is run the same program twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and change the second version of the code so that it asks the second question. So instead of saying, hello, what is your name? I'm going to say, um, where do you live? Question mark. Now, I can't, I can save it as name, but I've already got a variable called name and I've collected information about that. So I'm going to collect a variable called place which I'm going to try and spell correctly. And instead of saying hello plus name, which would just reprint that information that it collected up here, I'm going to say, I'll just scroll up so we can see all that code. Uh, you live in, and the variable I want to print here is place. So, I've in fact got very similar code running here, I'm just collecting a different variable. So here I'm collecting a thing called name, and here I'm collecting a thing called place. So when I run it, this is what it looks like. My name is Billy, and I live in Geelong. There you go, you live in Geelong. So that's how you solve that one. 